Hello everyone. In the previous lecture, we had discussed about the theory of septic tank and the design of the septic tank, and plus uh, related to the disposal of effluent from the septic tank. In that, we have discussed about the soil absorption system, that is the soak well or seepage pit, and the disposal uh, dispersion trenches. Okay. Now, uh, related to both this, we will solve numericals. Okay. Now, there is a numerical which says. Design a septic tank for the following data. Okay, number of people is given hundred. Sewage generated per capita per day is one twenty liters. Desilting period, which is nothing but uh, clearing period, is one year. And length to width ratio is four is to one. What will be the size of soak well if the effluent from the septic tank is to be discharged in it? Assume percolation rate through the soak well to be one to five zero liters per meter cube per day. Okay, now. For septic tank, since I have uh, the following data: number of people, sewage generated, desilting, that is the cleaning period, and then to which ratio. Again, I have to make few assumptions into it. First is the detention time, which is taken as 24 hours for easy calculation. It could be between 24 to 36 hours. Rate of deposited such 30 liters per capita per day. Period of cleaning is given one year, and depth could be assumed between 1.2 to 1.8 meter. The designing of septic tank is the same way which was discussed in the previous lecture. Okay, wherein the total capacity of your septic tank is the capacity of the sewage collector in the particular detention period, plus the total sludge uh, that is deposited in a particular cleaning interval. Okay, accordingly you get the volume of your septic tank, and from the volume, assuming the depth, you can calculate area, and from the area, L equals uh, as it is given, L is equal to Uh, four times of B, so you can calculate L and B. So according when it the uh, septic tank, uh, this thing designing is done, you get these values for this particular numerical six meter into one point five meter into one point eight meter. Now after this, an extension to it is designing of the soak pit. Sewage outflow is twelve thousand liters per day. How do you get this? Number of people hundred. Sewage per capita per day 120. So 120 into 100 will be 12,000 liters per day of sewage outflow, or we can say it as sewage generated. Percolation rate is given as 1250 liters per meter cube per day. So volume of filtering media for the soak well will be outflow 12,000 liters per day divided by percolation rate, which is nothing but 1250 liters per meter cube per day. So what you get is the volume. Okay, volume of filtering media that is 9.6 meter cube. Now, assuming the depth of the soak well or soak pit as 2 meter, so 9.6 divided by 2 area of the soak well, what you get is 4.8 square meter. Since the soak well is uh, usually circular, so 5 by 4 d square will give me the diameter, which comes to 2.4 meter. So this is how you calculate uh, or design the soak pit. Now, after this numerical, we'll do another numerical. Now, estimate the size of a septic tank. Length to width ratio is given as 2.25. Liquid depth is 2 meter with 300 meter free board. Desilting interval in years you are supposed to calculate, and the total trench area in square meter is to be calculated of the percolation field. For a small colony of 300 people, assume water supply of 100 liters per capita per day wastewater flow at 80 percent of water consumption. Sludge production of 0.04 cubic meter per capita per year, and the retention time. Retention time is nothing but the detention period of three days at startup. This sludging is done when the tank is one third full of the sludge, and the percolation test indicated an allowable hydraulic loading of 100 liters per square meter per day. So this is the numerical given. Now, first of all. Uh, what are we supposed to calculate is size of the septic tank, desilting interval in years, and the total trench area. These three things are supposed to be calculated. Okay. Now, given data is L by B, 2.25. D W is nothing but the depth of the liquid or depth of the waste water, which is given 2 meter. Free board is given as 0.3 meter. Population is 300. Water supply is 100 liters per capita per day. Waste water uh, flow is 80% of the water supplied. Sludge production is given as 0.04 meter cube per capita per year, and hydraulic loading is given as 100 liters per meter square per day. Okay, 
Now, water supply, total water supply to the colony will be the water demand 100 liters per capita per day into 300, that is the number of people, that is nothing but 30,000 liters per day. Now, sewage produced per day is 80% of it, so 80% of 30,000, that is 24,000 liters per day. Now, sewage produced in 3 days, because 3 days is a detention period. For 3 days, the sewage is supposed to be detained in a particular septic tank. So, for 3 days, how much will be the sewage uh, generated? 3 into 24,000 liters per day. So, that is 72,000 liters or you can say 72 meter. Okay. Desludging is done when the tank is filled up to one third of its capacity. This is given in the question. Hence, sludge volume can be taken as C by 3, where C is the total capacity of the tank. So, the capacity, which is the total capacity, C is equal to maximum sewage volume retained, which is 72, and sludge volume retained, which is one third of the total capacity, that is C by 3. Okay. So, taking this C by 3 here, okay, what you get is C as 108 meter cube and this C is nothing but L into B into DW which is the liquid water depth. Okay, so that is L you know it is given as 2.25 of, of B into B and depth of wastewater is 2 meter. So, B what you get is thus B what you get B is 4.9, L is 2.25 into 4.9 11.1 and D is nothing but liquid depth or water depth plus B board that is 2 plus 0.3 2.3 meter. So, the tank size is 11.1 meter into 4.9 meter into 2.3 meter. Now, sludge volume removed while desludging okay is C by 3 okay that is already given in the question that it is C by 3 the total sludge generated which is nothing but 108 is total C total capacity divided by 3 36 meter cube okay. Sludge produced per year is given as 0.04 meter cube per capita per year. Into 300 will give me 12 meter cube per year. So, 12 meter cube is amount of sludge generated per year. Okay, and desludging is done when it is 36 meter cube of sludge is generated. So, 36 meter cube of sludge will be produced in how many years? 36 meter cube into 12 meter cube per year, which gives me number of years which is 3 years. Sorry, this will come as 36 divided by uh, 12 meter cube per year. So, which is 3 years. So, in 3 years, 36 meter cube of sludge will be generated and then the cleaning will be done. So, this sludging period is nothing but 3 years. Okay. Now, next is trench area required to be calculated. So, trench area required is sewage produced per day divided by hydraulic loading in liters per meter square per day. Trench area required is equal to sewage produced per day. We have already calculated 24,000 liters per day. Divided by hydraulic loading which is given 100 liters per meter square per day. So, the trench area required comes to 240 meter square. Now, the pro uh, problem end here, ends here. There is a next problem which is design the absorption fill system for the disposal of septic tank effluent for a population of 100 people with sewage flow rate of 135 liters per capita per day. The percolation rate for the percolation test carried out at the site of the absorption field may be taken as 3 minutes. Okay, so you have to solve this problem by your own. You can refer the SK Girl book for it. The hint for this problem is you are supposed to use this particular formula. Okay, for calculation. Okay, thank you so much.